can't hack it. I just want to hack every single computer system so bad. But, you can't hack everything. That's an important lesson to always remember in life. You can't hack everything. Only most things. Man, this place is gorgeous. Although it's kind of filled with a lot of empty space like this. But it's still gorgeous, and it's just... Uh, the environment is just on a much larger scale than the rest of the game has really been, so it's very... Uh, it's very different. It feels very different just to have a space this big. Alright, looks like there might only be two ways to go. There's that way, and... Maybe something this way. This music really is strangely groovy. Man, this place is gorgeous. Beautiful. Let's take a look at all the paintings. Uh, but remember, my mission is to figure out what's going on. It's like a post-apocalyptic landscape. Same with that, and same with this, sort of. Well, this one kind of looks like a... I don't know, maybe a... I, I don't even know. <laughs> Not quite sure what I'm looking at. Obviously, it's a bunch of people. Yeah, these paintings look like they're... pretty far gone at this point. What What is that? Is that a painting? It looks like someone just took one of the textures in the game and just applied it to a block. Like, it doesn't even look like a painting. That is a bust, or something like that. It's a head. I think that's called a bust, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know much about art. Yeah, it's definitely a bust. That's kind of the reverse of a bust. That's... Looks like a chunk of a human body. It's kind of creepy, actually. Whoa. These are rather dark. Looks like a... Maybe a Nosferatu? It's hard to tell. I can't even make anything out. It just looks violent, whatever it is. Lots of blacks and lots of reds. Same with that. And same with that. Ooh. That's really pretty. No one here. Ah, I think I'm gonna find some information here. I've decided that because there's a thing here that says INFORMATION. This section managed by mumbly... <laughs> This section managed by Mumbly Joe. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Occult power-up. It isn't a WWJD bracelet, so you have no idea what it could be. Oh, what? I guess I need a higher research skill or something. If only Mumbly Joe were here to describe it to me. Ah. Hacking. What the hell? Why is there a square on the floor that is the, literally the exact same texture as this piece of art out here? Look, it, it's the same thing. I don't get it. Is this like a pressure plate? Hmm. LA Public Library. Insert card. Please insert library card. Right, so I actually need one. Well, I guess I'll come back. Uh, 
All right, one more place to go. Oh, hi, you're coming right for me. Please don't. Have I tried these doors? Yeah, okay, they don't work. Alright. There's probably no one in here, just like there was no one over there. I'm gonna bank on that and stop crouching. Because it's painfully slow. Keep an eye out for any fetish dolls on people's desks. Remember, kids, always keep an eye out for fetish dolls. That is some strange lighting. Kind of making my eyes bleed. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Wait. Seriously? Well, shit, what do I do? Alright, I missed something. I need a library card. I definitely need a library card. I can't use these computers. Oh, that's a thing. <laughs> that's a library card. Excellent. For some reason it was hidden inside of a book with a cutaway. That's strange. Not sure why someone put a library card. Whoops. Put a library card in that. This is really chill music. I like it, but it also feels a little bit inappropriate. Okay. Holy shit, I didn't even get close to it. Um, difficulty six. Alright, that's easy enough. I think I have five, right? Yeah. Alright. Get a little... Wait, wait is it, was it Auspex that I did? Auspex does wits. Wits does hacking. Yeah, Auspex. I think I could use Blood Buff as well, maybe. But, but this works. Awake. Awaken. Unlock. Art is the secret. Unlock what? Switch unlocked. Backroom library computer unlocked a hidden switch. Sounds like this could open a secret entrance nearby. Okay, well, I'm thinking maybe this is a switch. <laughs> what do you know? Wait. I'm, I'm hearing it, but nothing's happening. Maybe that's the entrance, not the switch. Maybe this is the switch. Oh! Whoa, okay. I have no idea why you'd have the same piece of art as, like, a floor tile thing next to the secret entrance. I mean, it's pretty absurd, but whatever. Whoa, blood. Not good. Bad sign. Blood smears are a bad sign 99% of the time. Holy crap, this lighting. What is even happening? I, I like how when I go into the darkness, I actually get brighter. Like, how does that even work? How does that even happen? Anything back here? Secrets? No. No secrets. It's very... green. Are we about to see, like, Dagon and... 
the deep ones or something. This feels Cthulhu-y. Holy shit! What the f- Um... I get the fuck out of here! <laughs> what? It seems that these final nights has brought us together once again. I see you've begun to embrace the beast within you. I smell the sweetest blood of my brethren upon your very hands. But enough with the pleasantries. Witness the power of my flesh transformed into the vessel of your destruction. Farewell, young canite. What the hell is even happening? What the hell even happened in that cutscene? I don't even know. Um... Okay. Yeah, this is the person that was at the junkyard in Santa Monica, wasn't it? The person who disappeared. In a flash. I know you. You were at the junkyard in Santa Monica. Time to die, Sabat freak. Okay, let's go ahead and save right now. Is this super vampire seriously trying to kill me with a gun? Oh no, he has a sword. Oh, you can teleport. Fancy. Wait, did you did you leave permanently or are you coming back? No, no, I still see your health meter. You're coming back. Where are you? Where where oh, you're there. Hey, how's it going? Ah. Son of a bitch. Hi. -ya. Need to heal. Alright, let's hide out for a second. Actually, no, I don't need to. I'm good. Whoa, I'm actually healing really fast. You are really obnoxious. Now I need to heal again. Come on, I've almost got him, almost got him. There we go. Oh, is that a fancy sword? What did I pick up? What did I pick up? What did I pick up? What is it? What is it? Come on, come on, tell me. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for the, the thing, the thingy, the thingy thingy. Katana! Yes, it's the proper version of the sword I have. I have a cheap knockoff, that's the proper one. Holy shit, I have a broad... Oh, that's right, he said he gave me a... Br it said I had a broadsword. For some reason. Like, gained broadsword when that cutscene was happening, I don't even know why. But anyway, what does this do? A light, slightly curved traditional Japanese sword designed for quick slashing attacks. To kindred, a combat swordsman is far more dangerous than a sharpshooter. Indeed. So it does four more damage. Nice. What about the broadsword? Four more damage even. Holy shit, this katana actually has a minus four feet adjustment, which means I suck at it. Yeah, the melee combat requirement is eight. Damn. Right. Well, the katana sounds cooler, but the broadsword seems to do more damage. I don't know, let's try him out. Is this... Wait, which, which one's which? I'm assuming the order you can select them is the order that they're in here? In which case, like, a katana is the bottom one? 
Yeah, okay, it must be the bottom one then. You, the, the icons are the same. And this seems to attack just as fast as the katana. And it does more damage. According to the damage potential. I guess I'll use the broadsword. Hmm. Cool, well I guess I just got an upgrade. Of, what, 8 damage? From 20 to 28, yeah. Sweet. I still don't know what the hell happened here at the library. Like, what happened with that cutscene? I kind of, like, fell down and then I stabbed someone in the cutscene? Why? And then one of the victims was like, what the hell did he even say? He's like, fuck this, I'm getting out of here. And then he just, like, teleported out or something. Like, what even happened? I don't even know. What does the quest say? Is the, is the quest just gone? The quest is just gone, isn't it? It is. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I have to be honest, the, I think this was reconstructed in the patch. And it... It's, it seems to show, like, it really doesn't seem to be as high quality as the other stuff in this game. That's not to say the other stuff isn't buggy as hell, too, and weird, but... It did seem noticeably not as well done as the rest of the game. But oh well, I, I like that it's in here. I like that they put it back. That's cool. Alright, um... I have 12 experience points. I should spend that on something. What was I going to spend it on next? I don't think I had a plan. My lock picking is pretty much as high as it freaking needs to be. That's crazy. My persuasion is excellent. My sneaking and hacking... Mm, I don't really need to upgrade hacking. It doesn't really seem like it. I don't care about melee. I mean, I'm, my skills are good enough. So what do I want to upgrade? I don't care about aspects anymore. I have enough. If anything, I would use presence. Should I upgrade presence? Next time, when I have enough, I need two more experience points. Um, I could upgrade persuasion to become even betterer. I could embetterer myself at persuasionary things. That'd be a good idea. Twelve. This also costs 12 and increases my research as well as persuasion. I would probably go with this. Yeah, you know what the hell, let's do that. Yeah. Now I'm really, really good at persuasion. Is that... That is a glowing green upside down skull. That's creepy. Not entirely sure why that is in the basement of a library, but let's roll with it. Mm, which way did I come from? I came from this way. Hey, dude, don't mind me. I'm just walking across the, like, ten feet in front of your vision. Yeah, you might want to get your eyesight checked. Do, 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 don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't shoot me in the back of the head. There? Nope, no one's here. <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck? The fuck was that? I didn't expect that. Talk about a jump scare. Let's go to the basement. screaming things. 
Any more surprises? Okay. Wow. I really, really need blood. Bad enough to chow down some rats. Come here. Let's pop back up to the surface. Actually, what is... Ooh, what is this? Ah, can't even pick it. Is that... Is that a mailbox? Is there seriously a mailbox in the sewers? I'm pretty sure the United States Postal Service doesn't deliver to the sewers. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. the hell was I doing? Okay, that's great, that's great. Food critic? Right, so aside from the main stuff, what do we have to do? Right, so the main thing I need to do is go to the house in the hills on King's Way, so let's, let's do other stuff first. So I need to take care of the gargoyles and take care of food critic Tommy Flayton. So we need to go back to Hollywood. Why did I just swing my sword? I literally didn't press anything. Put that away, please. Oh my god! These two have been inside of each other for hours at this point. Literally inside of each other. They've just been standing here every single time through many level transitions. And oh my god, that is such a cool outfit! Look at that! That's really cool looking. Oh, it's going kind of crazy. Okay, what am I doing? Um, food critic, uh, cafe Cavalotti. Cavaletti, Cav Cavaletti, Cavalotti. It's probably Cavaletti, something like that. I'm guessing that's this place. This looks like a cafe. Yes, it is. All right. Where's this? Oh, is that? Oh, I think that's Tommy. Let's save before we have a chat with Tommy. Yes, you are. More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I just wanted to... Oh, wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening, and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? I just thought I'd say hi. Hello. Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is, oh, to put it in a language you can relate to, trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh, thank you for simplifying it. I didn't... I wouldn't have understood what you were trying to say if you didn't. Ooh, the second option was actually something I was just thinking. The thumbs making an appearance in your ass, but no. Who are you? Me. Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour... Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Well, you'll be happy to know. I actually don't even need to eat food. So, you know, I think you can kind of forgive me for not exactly uh, being well-versed in restaurants, you know? I'm sorry, I haven't...
Oh, this isn't. Okay. We're gonna go meet a vampire. Hmm. I hope I don't have to fight him because I'm pretty low on blood. Should I go suck on someone to get more blood? Eh, I'll be fine. I could always use my blood packs. That's what they're for. Holy fuck! I think talking is going to work here, but I'm going to try. Gonna give it my best shot with my eight persuasion. Hmm. Hold on, I'm not here to fight you, I just want to talk. Monsters, you all! Abominations! A curse upon the earth! <sighs> Wait, I know your master, Maximilian Strauss. Strauss! The demon who made me, enslaved me, turned my flesh to stone! Bound me in blood to his black heart. I will bow no more to your kind, demon. Not all of us. I come here with an offer of peace from Isaac Abrams. What is this? Another devilish trick? Am I to trade one chain for another? Bow to Abrams now, instead of my old master? Never! <sighs> hmm. I need to play my cards carefully here, I'm thinking. Looking through all my options. The fourth option. Face it, kid, you don't exactly have a lot of options here. Out of all the things this gargoyle has ever been called, I doubt he's been called kid before. Isaac doesn't need another servant. He needs an ally against his Camarilla foes. Camarilla. What means this, Camarilla? They are kindred who want to rule over other kindred. Isaac fights against them. He fights... fights against his own kind. Yes, he fights against those who made you a slave as well, the Tremere. The Tremere. Hate them above all your kind I do. Secrecy and sorcery. Betrayal and blood magic. Damn to hell are all of you. But the Tremere, most of all. <laughs> the first one. Actually, they're not such bad people when you get to know them. I don't think that's gonna work. Yes. Isaac needs your help to eradicate their curse once and for all. Yes. I will fight alongside this Abrams and help him in his battle against this Camarilla. Lifeless demon he may be, but I swear to fight at his side. Good to hear it. I'll tell Isaac he has a new ally. Yes. Now leave me. This theater is my domain. 
and I seek the peace of solitude. See ya. I am very glad I did not have to fight him. Oh boy. When he jumped down, I was taking a sip of water, so I was kind of like looking away from the screen while the loading screen was happening, and then I just hear an explosion and I look back and I see him bursting in through the ceiling. What if I took a look around? Is there anything here? There probably isn't. I think it's just like big one big boss arena, basically. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. You've convinced a gargoyle to ally gargoyle to ally himself with Isaac Abrams against Camarilla, thereby removing the threat to the kindred of Hollywood. Go tell him. I will, gladly. You head to King's Way yet? About the gargoyle. I've convinced it to be loyal to you. A gargoyle serving in the defense of Hollywood. <laughs> Exceptional. I'm sure it'll come as quite a surprise to the first shock troop that crosses the city line. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. I've got nothing against the Anarchs. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> I've learned something about the gargoyle. This is where I have the option to tell Isaac about where the gargoyle came from, thereby sullying the reputation of the Camarilla and the Tremere. You know what? You know what? I need to make a stand sooner rather than later. It's been enough time. I need to start making a stand. Fuck the Camarilla. I'm sorry about the Tremere. I don't have anything against them in particular. But... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I've learned something about the Gargoyle. Alright, so this is where the politics start getting a little... messy. We'll see how this goes. Yes? The gargoyle was created by the Tremere Regent. He lost control of it. Are you positive? So, ho oh, that's where the gargoyle came from. If something like this got out, it'd be humiliating for him. Why, if the right people found out about this, it'd be all over town by the end of the night. Well done, Neonate. You're welcome, Isaac. Use it well. <laughs> uh, I hope I don't regret that. Well, I guess I can probably never go back to the Tremere Regent. Because as soon as that gets out, he's going to know it was me. Okay. So... Better check your email sometime soon. We'll do that later. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's go to King's Way. It's time to advance the main quest. Hop in. Ooh, this place looks really pretty. Oh wow, I was hearing a cat, but I didn't know it actually existed. The cat actually exists in the real world. It's just... endlessly stretching and meowing. It seems to be talking into the speakers if it wants to be let in, but no one's listening. 
How sad. Also, I think they maybe should raise the gates up a little bit if they're scratching across the floor and gouging huge fucking marks in it. Jesus, look at that. What the hell? Weird. But yeah, this place is really nice looking, although strangely boxy. Although, you know, it is the Source Engine. Things tend to be boxy in the Source Engine. Okay, um... The house in the snuff film, mm-hmm. We'll need to confront the film's creator to gain access to the Nosferatu. So, do I need to be sneaking here? I think I should be sneaking, but for some reason, the side doors are not locked. What the hell? Ew! What the fuck? Listen to that. There's flies, and I heard, like, a squishy noise in there. I think there's a... There's something nasty in there. Oh, this is the film. This is the film. This is the door she knocked on. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let's get out my broadsword. I have a feeling... Something is going to jump at my face very soon. I'm waiting. Oh, you can climb this. Good to know. Once again, another empty pool. So many of the pools are disappointingly empty. Right, these just loop around. I think it's time to start climbing. Yep. Okay, I keep hearing something really nasty. What the hell is that? Whoa! I see no one cleaned up the set. Come on, come on, come on. I love it when they explode. What did, what even happened here to cause this? Like, the house itself looks sick. Look at this. It's like the house is bleeding. Ew. It's like System Shock 2 all over again. It's like, the house looks literally like it's alive, like skin is growing and bleeding and there's sores on the walls. What could even cause this? I don't think this has anything to do with vampire, anything to do with vampires, not directly anyway. This is something else. This sword is really nice. Ooh, what is that? Occult power-up. Do I know what it is? Is my skill high enough? No, it... Actually, do I have to... What the hell did I just upgrade? I just upgraded scholarship, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Hmm. I wonder if it's the research skill you need to be high to understand what the occult power-ups are, or if it's inspection. You have no clue what this thing is, but it looks... <laughs> you have no clue what this thing is, but it looks evil. Well, it does say occult. Oh, whoa. I, okay, I just identified it, apparently. Cool. Uh, mummy wrap fetish. Ooh, it's a fetish. I love fetishes. Ga <laughs> um, gazing upon this mummified fetish, you feel a rush of vitality to your undead flesh. Increases passive healing rate by 25%. Oh, that's really good. 
I can't see anything. Oh, man. Look at this. Flesh is just joined the ceiling to this box or whatever this is. This is so disgusting. What the hell was that? It's the little head crabby thingy that exploded. Ooh, blood packs. Blue, blue blood. What? A uh, bag of blood from only the finest human specimens. Drinking it restores blood points. Ew, ew, ew. I do not like that squishy noise. No, 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 no. Don't, don't make squishy noise, game. I'll pass out if you keep doing that. Can I play the piano? Damn. Further downstairs we go. Hey, I have the same paintings in my apartment. Cool. I guess. Is that cool or is it creepy? Kind of creepy. Did that, did that do something? Nope. The creepy elongated slender woman. Well, this is the boss arena if I've ever seen one. Ah, uh, hello, young K Knight. I see your face is not so lifeless. Your nerves not so deadened that you cannot express shock. Tell me, child, is my appearance that frightening? Or is it my knowledge of you that is so unnerving? What the hell is going on in here? This place is a madhouse. Oh, child of Cain. The sights in this haven pale in comparison to my ancestral estate. Comfort is a custom. And all of this artifice brings me closer to my home. Do not fear for my furniture, young one. You're the one who made the tape, aren't you? Oh, yes. The tape. Merely a test. Certainly not intended to fall into mortal hands. Fortunately, we are in the capital of mortal trickery and illusion. So did the tape drive you to find me? From whence flows your longing, child? I just love the second option. I like both of them. But the second option is the only one that makes any sense for me to go with, but it just sounds so flippant, doesn't it? Like, eh, I don't know, really. What's going on down here? To gouge out the eyes of the Camarilla. The sewers are clogged with my creations. I will kill or drive the Nosferatu from their pestilent nests. Without the sewer rats to guide them, the Camarilla will be blind to the Sabbat's designs. Hmm. I is he actually a Sabbat? It sounds like maybe he's an independent player just trying to influence events to achieve a goal. I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. Now, Camarilla will. Let me see you fight your nature in the face of those who have embraced their beast. Deny yourself Cain's gifts. 
and be torn asunder by my minions. You asked for this. Let's save. Here we go. I might need to use blood packs. I'm probably going to have to. Come on, what are you going to throw at me, really? You're not impressive so far. Any of these damn things as you want. Doesn't matter. I'll take them all on. Alright, I need to go for him. Straight away. Alright, he has a lot of health. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just, just ignore him. Just ignore him. Ah, fuck. Oh, wait. Oh. Ah. <laughs> he stopped and then he went back. <laughs> yeah, my presence ability is really powerful. I don't even think I need to use it to kill him. No, I've got it. Next time. Come on, where are you gonna show up? Where are you gonna show up? All right, I've got you. I've got him. I've got him. I'm gonna leap to him. I'm gonna leap. Dead. They're not good. He's seriously not dead yet? What the hell? Oh, okay, now apparently he's gone. Stop making loud noises! Okay. Quiet. Quiet. Oh god, this is disgusting. Ah. What even is that? It's the head of some very strange beast. You defeated the... whatever the, whatever the hell you pronounce that. In his lair and gained access to the sewers that will hopefully lead you to the Nosferatu. Now go on and find them. You should also tell Isaac about this later. Ew. What the hell? What is he even doing with them? They're just... They're just cut open and hanging and rotting. All right, let's go find the Nosferatu. Never mind. Apparently, this entrance doesn't work. It is faulty. I can't. I can't enter. Nor can I enter this one. I guess I go this way. Okay, there we go. Oh, I wanted to feed. Ooh, what am I hearing? What, what the hell just happened to my camera view? S stop freaking out, camera! Oh, it's those things. Ah. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to save the Nosferatu from them, I guess. That's one of the... What, CDC? Get, get off me! Jesus, I'm stuck on him. Clipboard. Whoa. Okay, we have a detailed report here. Let's dive into it. This looks like the clipboard of an employee of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, Spring 2004. Wait a minute, is this, um... Um, uh, Salvador? This might be Salvador. This must be a routine inspection, remember? Uh, on the news? Hmm. 
All right, Monday, 24th. Initial investigations into the reports of strange sightings in the LA sewers started today. Entered quadrant 13 and will move into both 14 and 15 later on in the afternoon. Quadrant 13 seems normal. Tuesday, 25th. Quadrant 13 checked out, but heard unidentified noise noises at various points in both quadrants 14 and 15. Called into dispatch to confirm that no other inspectors were working in the area. There were none. Coordinates noted. Investigation into 16 tomorrow. Wednesday, 26th. Strange noises. Undoubtedly some sort of animal. Heard again in quadrant 16. I saw what may have been the animal at the intersection of corridors 63A and 64B, but could find nothing upon further investigation. There were strange prints in the mud on the edge of the corridor, almost hand-like, although it was, it was difficult to make them out in the darkness. Thursday, 27th. More prints found in corridor 73rd, uh, 73D. They disappeared into what looked like an entrance into an older part of the sewers. Called dispatch to see if they had blueprints of the old sewer section, but they didn't. Requested advice on how to proceed, and dispatch told me to continue with caution tomorrow. Friday, 28th, 8 a.m. Began investigation of the older part of the sewers this morning. Saw again what I believe to be an animal, although I don't know exactly how to classify it. The skin seems bare, almost reptilian. I can hear it constantly, almost as if it were following me. Although the echoes down here makes it impossible to gauge distance. Friday 28th, 9.15 a.m. Can't seem to raise dispatch on the radio, so unable to check in. There is a smell that has become more and more pronounced as I travel further into the old sewers. Undoubtedly the carcass of an animal washed down here in the last big rain. Investigations continue. Friday 28th, 11.31 a.m. Found the source of the smell, and it looks to be human remains. Immediately called dispatch, but was unable to reach them. The body seems to be that of a transient, of a transient. But there are tears, massive tears in the flesh, that indicate an animal may have recently fed upon the corpse. I have noted the coordinates of the body and am returning immediately to report my findings. Friday 28th, 1.22 p.m. I have become temporarily lost in the old tunnels, and repeated attempts to reach dispatch have ended in failure. The animal sounds I heard before have begun to approach again, and I fear that I may be, I may be being hunted. As a precaution, I have unholstered my weapon. Friday 28th, 5.30 p.m. Undoubtedly lost. I may have traveled deeper into the old sewers. Something is following me. I know it. Can't reach dispatch. Batteries running out in my flashlight. God help me. Saw creature. Some sort of monstrosity. Teeth and blood. Can't get out. No more light. Can't reach anyone. Please, oh god, what is the... The writing trails off. Spattered with what looks to be blood. I think this is Salvador. Wow. That is really cool. I love the detail in this game. I mean, there's like... Basically, what you just read there is a short horror story. And you just find it on a clipboard that you find in the world. And the best part about it is that it's all tied around. It's not just there. You, you know, you heard on the news about this man, Salvador, who had gone missing in the sewers. And I'm pretty sure this is him. So not only is it this just really creepy little horror story, this short horror story that you just find in the game, but it's even tied around into a greater story. You know, it doesn't feel like it's randomly been placed here. It feels like it's actually a part of the world. That's really cool. All right, come on, come on. Anyone else? Apparently not. Okay, I need to feed. And there's a large source of things to feed upon. Mm. Oh, come back here, come back here. Don't run, don't run, it's okay. There's nothing to be worried about. I'm only going to kill you. I like how that rat's just floating in midair. Yeah, 
Look, at least the other ones had the dignity to go on the ground. But no, you gotta be all up in my grill. That is a seriously ugly looking rat. It looks green and gray and brown and it has disgusting red eyes. Alright, that's a pretty good store of blood, I think. Can I go this way? No. Let me guess, something's gonna jump out at me around the corner. Nope. Well, I'm surprised. Ooh, more rats. Uh, the noises that they make are a little bit awkward. <laughs> can I actually go in here? Oh, I can. Oh, that's going to lead me into where he is. Or it is, I should say. that go? Hmm, it's probably just another entrance to get here. I don't think it's going to lead me to anywhere new. No, no, it's just another way to get in. Alright, I'm actually going to get to full blood just on rats alone. Oh, that's a rat body. Whoops. Come back here. Come back here. Come oh, wait, I'm full. I don't even need another rat. I'm sorry. I apologize. Ooh. I like me some lockpicking. Oh, I can open this. Oh, wow, tons of ammo. Which I don't even care about, because I don't use weapons, really, but I'll take it. Oh, something bust through there. Okay. City Hall cover-up. Haunted sewers bricked over. Bodies never found. Eh. Ledger. That's not it. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, here it is. This. Whoa, holy crap. Okay. More, um, short horror story, I guess. This looks to be the weekly log of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. 1972. Okay, so this is far in the past. 3 slash 3 slash 72. Reports concerning the recent hauntings in the sewer system have prompted the mayor to request a weekly log of all operations in the lower sewer sections 453 through 500. Log begins today. Nothing to note, although I will say that I find the stories to be uns unsubstantiated and ridiculous. 3 slash 10 slash 72. Both investigative teams this week reported nothing of note, although one individual who may be apt to nip the, to nip at the flask more of more often than not noted that he heard what could what he could only describe as whispers in one of his sweeps along section 476. Undoubtedly, these were the product of an overactive and thoroughly soused wait thoroughly soused imagination. So oh, sauced. 
That's supposed to be sauced imagination, isn't it? I don't know what the hell soused means. Anyway. 3 slash 17 slash 72. Nothing to report. Operations? Normal. 3 slash 24 slash 72. Things have been hectic with the recent rash of sightings in sections 498 and 499. Although mostly described as shadowy figures, the reports come from men whose words I trust. Discounting the usual stories about underground societies of displaced vagrants and rabid blind pets. I'm at a loss to explain these observations. I will join the teams tomorrow to see for myself what is going on down there. 4 slash 1 slash 72. I have traveled with a team down into sec the sections in question, and I must admit that I saw and heard things that I could not explain. More than once, I heard the same whispers as described before. And I chased what I thought to be a figure down a corridor, only to turn the corner and find myself facing a brick wall. What looked to be an older section of the sewers that had been sealed up. There was no one in sight. Although I could have sworn I heard laughter echoing in the darkness around me. I will be forced to report my findings to the mayor himself on Friday. 4 slash 8 slash 72 The mayor has sworn us all to silence concerning these new sightings, but has promised us an answer concerning course of action within the week. Inquiries about previous LAD WP records and reports have met with strange resistance. It seems they have been sealed for official reasons. Something is amiss down here. 4 slash 15 slash 72. We received word from the mayor today that sections 475 through 500 will be sealed off permanently, and that no further inquiry into the matter will be tolerated. I have a few connections at the front office, and it seems that something like this has happened before. It's something that the city council doesn't want to become public. My contact said he couldn't say any more, and that if I said anything to anyone, he would deny any knowledge whatsoever. 4 slash 22 slash 72. The sewer sections close tomorrow, and the city engineers have bricked up the corridors that led to them. This office falls within section, section 482, so it will be closed as well. As no one has requested the ledgers, all materials and records concerning this will be left down here to rot with the ghosts. Sorry about that, but as no official eyes will ever see this, I figure, figured I could wax dramatic on this last day. Log closed. Well, <sighs> it feels wonderful to be down here. I'm very, I'm very comforted by what I've just learned. Now I'm going to digest what I just learned and have some water and stare at this rat that's running back and forth. Hmm. Okay. What do you think about this rat? I agree. <laughs>